adjusting the sound a bit. Okay, My microphone is probably okay. It's it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it will work. Not. Yeah, that's how how many times I have said that, uh, and it didn't work. Anyway, we have been playing Operation Flashpoint um, or Arma Cold Cold War Crisis. F FDF mode mode and there are there's going to be series of the MP MP mission startup intros. Uh, I was the uh, I tried to find a list of them from the YouTube or some footage, and I noticed that there weren't really any any kind of coherent list of uh, or uh, only only few select missions that had like their intro and gameplay at the oh dear uh, at, the, at the youtube so i decided that i'll i'll brought uh, i'll record fdf mode missions from the operation last point and i'll publish them on my youtube page i ad additionally i noted that yeah there's lots of political <laughs> incorrect stuff in that mode missions but yeah uh, i don't think i'm going to like Censor too many missions, but some some of them. So that's the th lies before me. That's the gist of it. Okay, so camp is slightly different. You wish to speak? Precious little, but I'm quite certain it can still be found. With such stimulating company? <laughs> Never better. It's had the whole region around Moonrise Towers in Rogues, a chokehold he, he of darkness about that. and despair for years now. Those who remained are shadow cursed. If you don't die at their hands, then you become one of them. We have to get to Moonrise. But the less time we spend in its blighted surrounds, the better. So from two options, we, we select the... Soldier. The year, ten air. The place, a sleepy little town called Baldur's Gate. Our hero, Karlak, a knock-kneed delinquent from the outer city, with everything to give and nothing to lose. I was a kid looking for a way to fill my days and make some cash when I fell into the wrong crowd. Worked for a guy I respected. A lot. Turns out the feeling wasn't mutual. Through the jigs and the reels, he made a deal with Zariel behind my back. You know Zariel, right? Archdevil of Avernus. She put this thing in my chest and set me to work. Well, to war. I learned quick how to stay alive. And the engine served me when it came to killing devils. Ten years of that. The stories I could tell. Guy named Gortash, politician, inventor. I suppose we are going to kill One him as well. One of these wheeler dealer types who seems to have a finger in every pie. I guess I was naive to think everything he got up to was above board. What did I know? With people I liked, doing work I was good at. Sometimes I'm jealous of that girl. Oh, to feel so invincible again. Gives me energy. Power. But you've seen it in action. Very hard to control. She has afterburner. If I'm excited at all, angry, nervous, delighted, enticed, I burn hot. Hot enough to burn anyone who gets close. I, I try not to think about it. I still think about it constantly, but, you know, I try. <laughs> One of these days, I'll sort uh, the whole infernal affair so out, get myself cooled off, and start making up for lost time. But, not today. Okay. 
Karlak's temper is a sight to behold. Yep. She'll need to be careful. That rage will burn her right out. Yep. Shah's blessings upon you. Fine. What's on your mind? How are you holding up? Don't be so modest. Hmm. Ah, my good fellow. You have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. And she, she, he wants to poke my <laughs> eye out, so... No, thanks. Yes. And nothing to say with him. How much farther can I go? Okay, and she's here. Isn't it glorious? Karlak's fury is a Oh, well, good to thing behold. somebody is liking her. It is over where I am concerned. It is through conflict that we strengthen our bonds. If you say Yet so. I do not recommend Shadowheart seek it again. The next resolution may not end in her favor. Let's see what happens. Ah. The Blade of Frontiers. Thought I'd shaken you for good after the Mind Flare ship. But you just can't get enough of me, can you? Karlak! Advocatus Diaboli! The stink of Avernus! Pride of the coast, in the flesh. And you've got... <laughs> okay, he has worm. <laughs> he said that as well. A great fire roars through you. The fire of the first hell. You are the blade of frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure. Red skin, single curled horn. Blazes with flame, bloodied great axe held high. He uh, chases okay. the fiend, ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil, so a that's, threat that's to the living, Vulibus evil after. incarnate. Your allies are fraud, a soldier in the archdevil Zariel's army. Either I cut her down, or she burns the sword coast to ash. I've tried to tell you, I am not what you think I am. I'm... Uh -huh. Another vision. Karlak's blade raised, slicing through devils, Zariel's servants, as her eyes dart around, seeking escape. The man shudders with Karlak's desperation. She is a victim of the Blood War, not an agent of it. By Baldrin's helm, I... No! I will not be tricked! You saw the truth. I may be an effective soldier, but I never wanted to serve Zariel. Legged it away from her the first chance I got. And yet you served. No! Devils cannot be trusted. Would you listen to sense? This doesn't have to end badly for either of us. You know monsters, right? Better than anyone. Look into my eyes. Can't you see I'm not what you think? <sighs> Shit. <laughs> you really are no devil, are you? I've... I've been deceived. <sighs> Thank the gods. I thought I was gonna have to take your head. You would have died in the attempt. But there have been enough threats today. Truce? I'll do you one better. Allies. We're looking to get rid of these parasites for good. And ruin some bastard's days while we're at it. Sounds like your kind of venture. I've not grown any tentacles yet, thank Baldron. But luck won't be on our side forever. 
Yes, you have my blade. Your leader willing, of course. Well, soldier, what's the word? Hey! Well met, and a thousand sorries. I've pledged my life to protecting the meek from monsters. But tonight, I was the rampaging beast. I see the good in you, Karlak. I promise not to lose sight of it, even when the hells burn hottest. Hm. The famous Blade of Frontiers in the flesh. Clever, this hero act you've got going. <laughs> hero, Blade, name strangers gave me. My friends call me Will. Excellent. If we ever become friends, I'll know what to call you. <laughs> uh, okay. So we now we have a new, new member. Where's the wheel? Okay. Okay. Someone in the camp wishes to speak with you. Bears the wheel. Ah, uh, Karlak is here. Glad Will saw sense. Even more glad he decided to stick around. Takes a pretty slick mover to track down old Karlak. Does it? You are pretty loud. Fair. <laughs> but still, the man's got a reputation for being lethal with that blade. I'm glad it's on our side. Here's Will. Found his own tent. Will's brows furrow as your minds connect. He sees the burning embers of Joaquin's rest. Then Floric's face as she tells you of Raven God's abduction. Hells! Older Raven God's been taken. Yep. Then we need to seek him out and get him to safety. You see, Grand Duke Ravenguard is my father. Ah, okay. I know I haven't said. Our relation was no matter of pride. Not least okay, you are bastard. Where are you close at I was close to him once. Until he disowned me and cast me out of Baldur's Gate. I've been asking myself the same question. What makes a Duke of Baldur's Gate so interesting to the drow? Even the houses of Men's Oberanzen would have little use for my father. No, this is no drow plot. These absolute nutters, these true souls are behind his abduction. His absence alone will sow chaos in the city. If they were to infect him, he could lead Baldur's Gate to ruin. All the more reason to find him. The Absolute has seized not just my father, but the future of the Sword Coast. And there is. I would tell you more, but I can't. That must be the end of it. But he sees Warlock as well. Okay, what's. There's something I've been wanting to share with you. If now's a good time. Uh huh. I'm all ears. It's difficult to put into words. I think it might be easier to just show you. Use the tadpole, the connection. Come into my mind. I'm sure. I trust you. I 
don't remember how it started. Only how it ended. I was fleeing. Because you know, something is bugging her. Hey. <laughs> yeah. She has that dead ball in her head, so yes, definitely. But... So this happened before... Okay, this is her... Youth. the scar Lady Shah. That's all I remember. You remember that it is common amongst Saluna's followers to send their children into the woods alone, a rite of passage to find their way home. Perhaps this one has gone away. Saloon. You're reading too much into things. A childhood bauble. Okay, th this is what I was thinking. Just that because she, she, she was something doesn't mean they own it. And Shar likes to well recruit or steal people from uh, Selunites. Lady Shar. But yes, her and those who saved me. And taught me her ways. The Mother Superior. She made me who I am. At least as best as I can remember. She taught me. Trained me. Punished me when I failed her. Which was often. Perhaps I was. She sent me on this mission after all. Pain is the gauntlet that all who love Lady Shah must endure. Only her embrace can truly heal me. To try and salve myself would do nothing but shame me in the Night Singer's eyes. Religion or persuasion? Okay, it's, it's ten. Of course I fail. <laughs> Should I use inspiration? Yes, I need to use inspiration. Okay, critical success. Perhaps you're right. And perhaps one day I won't have to suffer. But I don't think that day has arrived yet. Lady Shah will ease my pain when she wishes to. One one idea would be like destroy this statue. Shadow Hans is be inspired. Okay. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Okay, she, she likes to destroy Selunite temples. Ok, 
Tietysti se there's been battle, Staff of the Moon Maiden. No time to dally. Well, she, she has haste, Helm. So, um... Let's move. That's a big, very big sword. Hey ho! A slender drow blade impales the stone before you, keeping a silent vigil. Who used the strength? It feels like you're warring with ten people for the blade. But with another hard yank, the weapon slips free from the stone. Okay, we got it. So Versatile, versatile. Weapon. Falar avu alue. Melody. Okay, so this is part weapon. What? So you can build this with both hands or with, with the sheet. Yep. Yeah, it's a long sword. Which is actually not too bad because she's going to be tanky, tanky, tanky. So she, she with the shield is, is pretty okay. Barbarian can, can make crazy damage, but if she's not doing the damage, well, that, that doesn't have a ba bad damage as well. Avernus Searing Smite. Okay, that's a uh, class action. Okay, we don't we don't have a bard with us. are watching me. Oh, I could go for a good meal. If you insist. Ouch. Okay, what's that? Ready for this. Bullet. Predator of the dark. Chances. Uh, it, it's off balance, so luckily. Sometimes the only way out is through. Okay, this is personal. Yes. These are these are personal. Spells.
Okay, I can actually. Freak. Uh, or sing. The singing and dancing sword. From the Munchkin card game. Okay, and I, I can select the reckless attack. Later. Destroyer. Which bolt? Important is ever easy. my way three points oh no <laughs> off balance okay it's going down did we want it I should take that. What to do? Maybe I need more pockets. So the village is down there. We haven't explored the other way yet. So I suppose we should check check the corners first before went venturing forth. Ah there's Mikonits over there. What's up for discussion? You are swallowed by a chorus of turbulent music. Through one creature sing many voices. The harmony of an entire collective. Sovereign, she has come. She is here. The choir fades. A single melody rises above the others. Brassy and commanding. I am Sovereign. You see a vision, your lifeless body wrapped in fungal tendrils. The Sovereign is threatening you. State your purpose. Underdark is my home. I need your permission to pass. 
but I could persuade. Difficulty 5. Okay. Not, not too hard. Fungal roots weave through your mind, seeking your true intent. Then the sovereign drones a new melody, cautious but welcoming. Descend to me. Let us speak in flesh. The okay. persistent music coaxes you forward. The sovereign expects you. Okay. This can only go well. That's probably we got it. We got it colony. Blurk trader. Ah, a visitor. Okay, interesting. You're a welcome sight. But let us observe the customs of the locals. The scholar's brow tenses. His voice spills into your skull, the spores connecting mind to mind. Blurg, proud member of the Society of Brilliance at your service. Society of Brilliance. <laughs> Perhaps not. <laughs> mm, your mind is far more complex than that of the fungi. It's true that many of my brethren are enslaved here, but my intellect has secured my freedom. It is my hope that my research will lead to liberation and peace for my people. Such designs are part of why I've devoted myself to studying the Myconids. Okay. My colleagues and I are working to improve conditions in the Underdark. This need not be such a dire, hostile place. Our kind has suffered needlessly for generations. Do you also seek peace among the Myconids? This is where I belong, but right now I can't stop. I know the feeling well. What has driven you from home? You were infected by an illithid tadpole. It's a miracle you're still intact. You must be worried sick, but have no fear. I have a friend who may be able to assist. Okay. Omelium! I hope this is important, Blurg. My Zerkwood samples need constant attention. It is. This adventurer has an illithid tadpole inside her head, but she hasn't turned. No ceramorphosis. Uh, That's okay. impossible, but intriguing. Are you looking to have it extracted? <laughs> Mind flayer, die! Uh. Open your mind to me. Let us see what love oh, this, this might be il il illuminate, illuminating. As the Melowan's mind pierces yours, the tadpole pulses with power. It feels ten times its size. Alive. Awake. Almost smug. This is most unusual. The incubation period should be complete. As should your transformation. But the lava is infused with strange magic. It appears to be in some form of stasis. I can only theorize, but I suspect your transformation would be both agonizing and instantaneous. I thought it was always agonizing, Amelium. Well, yes. But that wasn't my point. No. It appears to be shielded from physical 
and magical influence. Okay. And even without the shield, the extraction would involve severe cranial trauma. Ah, okay. It is not ideal. The process would surely kill you. But not to worry. Should you transform, I will happily perform a new examination. Okay. A nautiloid? Fascinating. I have never set foot on one myself. They were our warships during the greatest eras of the Illithid Empire. We ruled the entire astral plane from their decks. The design was lost when the Gith rebelled. Okay, so it's it's lost ship as well. Dominion. Of course. I am sorry I cannot assist you in its removal. But I have an idea. Okay. Oh, perhaps that I should hurt. start taking notes. There may be a way to bypass that stasis. There are many alchemical substances that can influence the mind. Uh... I do not intend to shatter its protection. I need only bypass the interference that prevents me from communicating with the lava. Sounds dangerous, but... A tincture distilled from a collection that of might help. rare mushrooms. They have subtle psionic influence. Okay, so now we are talking I about drugs. I a fresh tongue of madness and timusk spores. But be warned, in their natural state, both of these mushrooms can be quite dangerous. Timusks cause confusion in those that approach them. The tongue is self-explanatory. The Underdark, of course, although they are quite rare, and their discovery perilous. Hmm. I imagine Lenore would have them in her possession. She served Mistra as a cleric. The Southwest, when I last saw her, although her tower does have a tendency to move. Okay, of course, of course, it does. <laughs> May your travels be safe and swift. I have never seen anything like it. It's my species. Monarch. Can we get up here? <coughs> Don't! Her condition is familiar. Poison, derived from a wild weed common to the Underdark. She'll need an antidote soon. Most likely held by the poisoner. Karolak approves. Uh, Karolak is a, is a nice person. Barbarian, but nice person. Ah, gods! Whatever that is, I needed it. Why are you helping me? You're a drow. We are not not all chillers, now you know. No. Now I know. I thank you for your help. But I gotta get moving. Oh Carl's garters. Oh I don't have time for this. My kid need me. Maybe not. But you are. I need you to rescue my kid. Okay, what happened? We can pay. 
We're Ironhand Clan, best artifices in Baldur's Gate. Ah. We were on an expedition down here when the Dwergar snatched us up. Ah. I got away, but not the others. The Greys have them digging out some old ruin across the lake. Just mining for materials. Nothing unusual. But our work pays well. Help my clan, and we'll make it worth your while. I swear. Thank you. Only wish I could go with you. But here. I nabbed these boots from the Greys when I ran. I'll feel better knowing you're using them to kick some dweller okay, ass. So we need to fight the dark. I'll mark where I made my escape. Forbes. And, uh, wait here, I suppose. Not much choice, eh? No Belinda. Need a word. He's planting spores. The sovereign's thick fingers stroke the corpse at its feet. A droning melody greets you as the creature turns its gaze to you. Flesh talker, I show you a memory. Watch and listen. My God, like he's talking, vision talking, grips talking, you. it. Dwega, dark dwarves chopping myconid remains. Uh. They broke our peace. They killed our young. The sovereign's song slows to the pace of a dirge. It is still in mourning. We laid waste to many, but intruders remain. Lakewood. Okay, Lakewood is the where we should be going. As it measures your worth. I sense your resolve. You will find Dwergar invaders near Lake's Edge. Cleanse the rot. Destroy them. Dwegar invaders? We can manage that. Better than picking this fight, surely. Deep purples swirl into familiar shapes. Gnomes in mining gear, chased by Dwegar. The Dwegar seek a gnome. It is a guest. Okay, we found this gnome. An illusion comes over you. A Dwegar choking on a cloud of gleaming dust. Surprise! Accept this gift. It will help you exterminate. The Sovereign gifts you one more vision. A wall of vines parting to reveal glowing light. Riches of magic and mind. Cleanse the rot, and they are yours. You do the circle a service. We will await word. Nice. I've got a long road ahead. Haste a sprawl grenade. Can I have a grenade? Oh, Okay, that's Minotaur. Okay, he, he was... He fell down. Ah, uh, there's two monsters. Okay. Interrupted, okay. Tormentor. Never a dull moment. Can't slow down. Dash. Got to 
Je me bouffe. Okay, so what should I do? Be doing? Watch this. One pro point. Wow. Ouch. Critical hit. On the move. Oh, he's he's dead. Ouch! One point left. Oh no. Where do I go from here? Frontiers. Let's hope Will lives up to his name. We'll need all the help we can get. Yep. Hmm. 
My faith will guide me. Got to press on. I've got a long road ahead. May the darkness protect you. Time to press ahead. We're opening the thing. Four <laughs> points left. Said <Safe> storehouse. <clears throat> Got your weapon in an oil that transferred the target's fire resistance to five vulnerability. Okay, that's 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 crazy. Lots of stuff here. I wonder who 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 stuff this is. Wizards pain, pain oil. Spell attack rolls, okay. Minus three. Basic poison. Simple toxin. Don't waste a step. There's entering. Mercenary. Ah. Uh. Useful friends, if you can afford them. Okay, so this is Centarim. Place we are robbing. Silver and bronze. Okay. I wonder where the elevator is leading us. Doesn't, Doesn't work. work. 